Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick steelbook unboxing for you. This is um, the Salem's Lot steelbook that I got from Best Buy. It's got this weird foil thing on here. It's weird. Like a vacuum seal or something? I don't know. Um, I got this from Best Buy. Um, I thought this was a exclusive to Best Buy, but I, I just, in the last week or so, or however long it's been now, I saw that um, you can get this at um, FYE as well. And probably other places too, so it's not, I guess it's not a... Uh, Best Buy exclusive. It's a, just, it's, a, it's a couple retailer exclusive, I guess. But yeah, Salem's Lot. Um, I'll be honest, I've never seen this. I've never seen this film at all. I think it's long, too, isn't it? Like, two and a half hours long or something? 183 minutes, so yeah, that's... That's three hours, isn't it? Fucking hey. No wonder I haven't seen this. Isn't this actually sort of like the, um, the It one, where it's like a, multi, it's a miniseries for TV? I think it is. I haven't seen it. I don't know. Um, I think that guy's name is Orloff or something, or Olaf. Fucking, I don't know. How about I take the fucking packaging off here? It looks like it's matte. Yeah. I think they're all matte finish. What the fuck? I don't know if that's cheaper or something. I don't know. These are all WB, aren't they? Right? Yeah. Sticking to me. Okay, let's get the glue off of here because I have to keep those two. Um, this is boring here. I'm just taking the fucking glue off the sticker thing or whatever. Anyway, here's the deal book itself. There's a little ding right there, which is lame, but you know, it's mostly black anyway. Is there a spy slash? I don't see one. This has the Blu-ray logo and the um, Warner Bros. logo. And this is a house. I'm assuming it's that vampire's house or something. There's a ding up there. Buying so many steel books in the last month, I'm noticing more and more dings, but I guess that just comes to the territory when you buy steel packaging. Just a plain disc. And there's that vampire with a stake in his heart. So I guess, spoiler alert, he's going to get staked. I don't know. Maybe he's dreaming. The vampire's dream? Androids dream of electric sheep. I don't know if you know that. The vampire's dream of bats or something. I want to look at this quick. I didn't, even, I didn't even talk about the damn film because I know nothing about it. I haven't read the book and I have not seen the series or maybe series or movie, whatever this is. But I am unboxing it and I have two copies of this now. I have a regular version of this that I bought last year that I still haven't watched. That's how I roll. How about I read this quickly? Sinister events bring together a writer fascinated with an old hilltop house, a suave antiques dealer whose expertise goes beyond bric-a-brac, and the dealer's mysterious, pale-skinned, quote-unquote, partner in Salem's Lot, a blood-curdling shocker based on Stephen King's novel and directed by Toby Hooper. It includes a documentary uh, with Toby, Ho excuse me, Toby Hooper and a trailer. That's all, apparently. So, whatever. 1979. Oh. I actually heard this is not very good, and I actually I also heard that it's decent. I, I assume this will get a remake at some point, because it's been so long, and it, I, I don't know if it's actually highly reg regarded or not. I don't know. I think I've heard about it being remade at some point, but who the hell knows, so. Ah, shit. I'm going to back up so I can stand up here. There we go. Salem's a lot. Cool beans, yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um... Yeah, I got more Steelbook to unbox. Lots of horror stuff coming this month, so keep watching. You'll see more and the usual shit. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.